Welcome to Mirror and Thread. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Today I am doing probably the most requested video of all time since we started our YouTube channel and I don't know why it's taken me so long to get around to doing this but I thought of it today before I curled my hair and we are rolling with it. So I'm doing a tutorial on how I curl my hair. Now listen, I am not any kind of professional hairstylist or anything like that. So this is very simple, but I have gotten a lot of requests and so I thought I would share with you guys how I style my hair. And since I have it short, this is really easy, it's really quick, and hopefully it will be helpful for you guys. So I am going to show you how I do it and also go through all the products that I use on my hair. I don't have extensions or anything like that in my hair anymore, so this is natural, and these are all the products that I use that help keep my hair in good health. So I will put all of those links in the description and make sure you watch to the end because I also have some deals of the day that I will share with you at the end as well. Let's get started. Okay, first I wanted to run through some of the products that I use just to keep up the health of my hair. So this is one of my favorite, favorite hair products of all time. This is the Colleen Rothschild Hair Mask. So I use this as a conditioner. I only wash my hair a couple of times a week and I use this actually every time I wash as conditioner. You could just do this like once a week if you wash your hair more frequently or a couple times a week, but I love this. It smells amazing and it just keeps my hair super silky and smooth. And then I also use this, I got this from Amazon. It's called Red E to go. This is like an all-in-one styling treatment. So the main thing I love about this is it's a heat protectant. So you put this on wet. So I just do it right when I get out of the shower. They do make a spray bottle version if you prefer to spray it in. I just put a tiny bit in my palms and then rub it through my hair while it's wet. And this has lasted me forever. I think I bought this like before Christmas in like November or something and I've only used this much so it will last you a really really long time and is good heat protectant for your hair. A few more little styling things before I get my curling iron out I always blow dry my hair with this round brush and it just kind of decreases the frizz. I have naturally pretty coarse, fairly frizzy hair. And so it will hold a curl pretty well, but it also, if I don't blow dry it right when I get out of the shower or round brush blow dry it, it will look insane. So this just kind of calms that super frizzy look and it makes it a little, it is not this straight. I do usually run, I have run a straightener through it before this, but um, it will help it be a little bit more straight so that when I curl it, it doesn't insane. So typically I just do this. If I'm just going to curl it straight out of the shower, I'll just do this and then curl it. Since this is, I think I washed my hair two days ago. So this is actually day two or day three of my hair being slightly dirty, which makes it kind of hold the curl a little bit. So since I'm doing that, I have run the straightener through it. So just FYI on that. But um, I love this thing. It saves a lot of time. And if you don't know how to work a round brush and a hair dryer, both at the same time on your hair, which I don't, um, this is a great product to have. And then I also always brush with a wet brush. Again, frizzy hair texture. This just kind of helps keep it a little bit less insane. Also, before I curl my hair, I pretty much always put some dry shampoo in it, even if I just washed it, which I know sounds kind of counterintuitive, but sometimes after I use like a hair mask and this uh, Red E to go treatment on my hair, it will be a little bit too silky for it to hold the curl very well right after I wash it. So I'll either like run a straightener through it and let it just be straight for a day or two and then curl it, or I will just throw a little bit of dry shampoo kind of all over it before I curl. This is also what I use. So I use this this morning since I am a couple days past a wash. This is what I use to keep my hair not from getting greasy. And this is my favorite dry shampoo. I've tried out a whole bunch of different ones, but this actually cleans your hair and it doesn't have that like gunky feeling. So it doesn't leave like that chalky looking white kind of look in your hair either. So highly recommend this dry shampoo and it does help. It's almost like a texturizing spray. You could use a texturizing spray as well if you prefer that, but um, this just kind of gives it a little bit more hold. Okay, now for the actual curling part. And this is when people always ask me what type of curling iron I use. And I feel like they're surprised when I tell them I have just this one inch Conair Walmart curling iron. I've had this sucker for four years straight. 
It's never broken and I love this thing. I actually do have the more expensive T3 curling wand or curling iron. I never use it. I don't know why. It's like almost too silky or something for my preference. I just love this one. I'm used to it. I know how to run it. It works like a charm and I think that this is perfect for everything that I would need and everything that you would need as far as curling your hair goes. So I will show you how I do this and I don't actually section my hair out. That's personal preference. I try to do this as quickly as possible. You know, I have a newborn in the house and so I just don't have time to make sure that every single tiny piece looks perfect. And also I don't really mind it being a little bit of a messier look. I just try and get the pieces that I can see. If some of them underneath are a little straighter, that doesn't really bother me. So personal preference on that, you could section your hair out. But the trick is, so I get a fairly good chunk here and then I start at the top and clamp open and then I start going down with it. And the trick is to uncurl it as I go so that it gives it a little bit more of that beachy look instead of just like a ringlet. So forgive me, I'm not used to doing hair tutorials. So I'm kind of like glancing in the mirror as I do this because it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing without looking in the mirror. So, okay, little bit on the top, just hold it for a second undo just the clamp on that so that it's giving it more of a twisted look and then just do that all the way around. So I always curl away from my face both sides. So I'll go this direction and then the other direction on the other side. So I kind of do the top pieces first, which I know is backwards from probably what a lot of people would do or would tell you to do. Again, not a professional hairstylist. This is just what I do. And then I just kind of go back through the bottom pieces and see what needs to be done here. And I go the same direction on this whole side and just make sure I'm undoing it. So curling and then kind of, I just kind of leave the clamp a little bit loose as I go. So let me show that. So it's kind of tight here, loosen the clamp as I'm spinning it, loosen it. Un uncurl, loosen, uncurl, loosen as you go down. You could leave if you want more of like that beachy look where it has a little bit hanging down. You could stop, you know, here-ish and not curl that bottom part. I tend to just go ahead and curl it. It's easier for me than trying to figure out exactly where to stop every time. So do that for this side and then I'll show you how I do it back, the back a little bit and then I will move on to the other side. So do that for that whole side. And then when it comes to the back, I don't, you know, have like a mirror or anything where I can see the back of my head. I just kind of wing it. <laughs> Again, I go for efficiency more than perfection at this point. So I start getting some of the back pieces and I still go this same direction as I was going away from my face. And I do that all the way for these back pieces back in here. And then I'll start on this side and then hit the other side at the back going the other direction. So it's really pretty simple. I just love this little one inch barrel. It gives me the curl that I want. It's not too big of a ringlet. Since my hair is pretty short, I don't like a big thick curl. I won't really hold. Um, so I do this little one inch barrel and that gives me the perfect amount of curl. And then being able to loosen it as you go kind of gives you more of a twisted look. So I will keep going on this. I'll show you the other side and then I'll show you some finishing products. I was going to show you too, when it comes to these back bottom pieces, I tend to just go at it from the side and instead of pulling them from behind like this, I just pull from the underneath here and just kind of give these, I usually try and do the same thing. So I'm still curling, still releasing. I know it's hard to see because the rest of my hair is in the way. You could do this in layers, especially when you're just starting with this technique, but I'll kind of do that all the way through and just give these a bit of a looser curl. Um, these don't have to be perfect because you can't really see them that well. So just give a little bend in them. Okay, I have this side done and this part of the back. So I've got about halfway down the back of my head. So now I'm gonna move on to this side. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, except I'm going to turn this in the opposite direction. So I'm turning away from my face both ways. So here, turn away from my face this way. Over here, I'm gonna turn away from my face this way. I've seen some people who do, like if you want more of the beachy kind of messy look, you'll do like one strand like this, one strand this way, one strand this way, one strand this way, all the way across your head. I just like doing it this way better. I don't know, it makes more sense to me. It's a little easier and I like the way that it looks. So I go 
all one direction this way, all one direction this way. So I'll show you this side. Again, I kind of do this backwards. I feel like I start with the top because it's the pieces that I care about how they look. So I'll flip this the opposite direction, still leaving it for a second and then uncurling, leaving it and uncurling all the way down. And then I will go through that all the way on the back on this one too. All the pieces are curled now or most of the pieces are curled as good as it's gonna get so that entire process has taken me around 10 minutes maybe a little bit less so it's really pretty quick one of the most important parts I think to get the style and the volume that I want is now I'm gonna just take my fingers and go from the bottom up and just kind of fluff everything out so I just kind of like take my fingers and shake it out a little bit so that I get some volume and kind of break up the curls just a little bit in there. Sometimes I have to go back through if some of these pieces didn't get super curly and like just hit some of these top pieces again so that they're pretty curled. Um, but I think that looks about the way that we want it to look. And then as far as holding everything in goes, I also use this Living Proof Flex Hairspray. So I will just give this, especially if I curl it right after I get out of the shower, I definitely do this. Now that it's been dirty for a few days or unwashed for a few days, it will probably hold this style pretty well. Then usually it will hold this style for another two or three days and I just kind of like hit these top pieces when I wake up in the morning. But I'll give this just the once over with this. And then if I want a little bit of extra volume, again, especially if I have freshly clean hair, I will do this full dry volume black. So I'll just get a couple of these pieces here and spray and then you just kind of set this for a second and it actually expands the molecules in between your hair which is really cool so it'll give you some extra volume so let it sit and then you just kind of run your hands through that and it'll give you a little bit of extra volume there too. So. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I'm gonna run through the deals of the week now, so give me just a second to grab those and we'll be right back. First up is this halter top that I was wearing in one of my photos in a previous video and I got tons of questions and comments from you guys about this one. So this is actually 40% off today along with all of their other full price tops. I love the colors in this one. I love the style of this. It's so cute. This is adorable with some skinny jeans or white pants or shorts. Really fun colors for spring and I have the small in this one. All right, next up is this initial necklace that I'm wearing right now. You've probably seen this in most of my videos. I wear this all the time and this is 20% off for a few days only. They still have all the letters available and this would make a fantastic gift option too. Next up, Amazon is having a daily deal on their Kindle paper whites. I love my Kindle. It will hold so, so, so many books. And the nice thing about the Kindle versus just reading on like your iPad or your iPhone is that this is like a page in a book. So it does have a backlight on it, but it's not blue light like our phones and iPads and everything have. So it's not harsh on your eyes and you can read these at night in bed and not wake your partner up too. These sandals were one of my best sellers for both March and April. These are a Walmart studded sandal. They're so cute. They're only $26 and I wanted to call these out because they just came out with some of these in new prints and colors. So they have like a cognac brown and also a snake print now. The last deal of the day is Levi's is doing a huge warehouse sale. So 75 to 80% off some of their items. I love their denim. I have several different pairs of their jeans and their denim shorts. They're some of my favorites as well as one of their denim jackets, which has lasted me forever and ever. So all kinds of really great prices on denim that will last you such a long time. So I'll put the link for that sale in the description as well. That's it for the hair tutorial. I hope this is what you guys were looking for. I know this has been requested. Do let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if you would like to see more things like this from me in the future. I've got all the links in the description, so make sure you check that out and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see content from us in the future.